Hi everybody, thank you so much for tuning in today and watching and welcome to WCNN, the Wheelchair Nick Network. I hope your Monday is going well so far. Before I get into today's video from one patient to another, I want to say if you haven't had a chance to see Friday's video, go watch it. There will be a link in the description below. Okay, now into today's video from one patient to another. I want to say before I get started with the actual content of this video that this will be one of my longer videos and I would appreciate it if you would do a couple things for me. Number one, please stay all the way through because I believe what I have to say is valuable. Number two, please share this video with as many people as possible and use the hashtag from one patient to another. If you could do those two things for me today, I would really appreciate it. Now on to the content. You guys, I have been a home health care patient for four years now. And I have to be honest with you and say that before I started home health care, I was actually, um, I could actually start home health care without any problem. I had went through all the paperwork, been approved, everything like that. However, I waited, I waited a year before I did so because I was so nervous starting home health care because up until that point four years ago, I had no one else come into my home and physically take care of me other than my family. So I was really, really nervous. So let me start off by saying I get you other home health care patients being really nervous about having a complete stranger come into your home who's never taken care of you before and you're going to have them take care of you for the first time. I totally understand that. Now what I want to say to the, today is this. This is the crux of the video right here. If you're a home health care patient, I will say this. All of us are particular with how we want things done. You're out there and you may want your bed a certain way or your food prepared a certain way. What I want to say is don't be petty uh, with your nursing staff. And what I mean by that is, is if they don't make your bed a certain way, don't flip out and spaz out and get all mad at them. Just say, hey, I noticed that my bed was made a little more differently than normal. This is how I would normally like it. If you could do this for me, I would greatly appreciate it. But don't flip out on them. Same thing if you want your food prepared a certain way and they don't prepare your food that particular way. Don't flip out on them. Just very nicely say, hey, could you prepare this for me this way? I would really appreciate it. Number two is be grateful for your nursing staff. I'm going to be a little bit blunt here, so bear with me. If you're out there, you're a home health care patient, and you have to wear incontinence like I do every day and get cleaned up every time after you go to the bathroom, please realize that someone else having to wipe your rear end that is not the most pleasurable job in the world so be very grateful for that when they do that and just plain be very grateful for everything that your nursing staff does for you because it is not the most high paying job and like I said it is not the most pleasurable job so be very grateful for everything that your nursing staff does for you the last thing I want to say is this if you get your home health care services from an agency, do not call that office every day with little petty grievances that you have with your aide. Deal with your aide first. If your aide is not making the bed the way you like it, don't call the office right away. Deal with it with that aide. If your aide is not making your food the way you like, like it, don't call your office for that. Deal with that with that aide. Call your home health care office for things like, my staff hasn't been showing up. I've tried talking to them about it. Could you please um, address this with them so that they will show up on time? Deal with them. Deal with your office with things like that. But the little 
um, petty grievances. I call them petty grievances. I call them. Um, deal with that with your aide. And if you're a home health care person out there watching right now, if you're actually a home health care staff member for somebody, I want to say thank you for everything you do because, like I said in this video, it is not the most pleasurable job and it certainly is not the most high paying job. So, thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart and on behalf of, on behalf of everybody else in home health care. Thank you for everything that you do. I really appreciate it, and I know a lot of home health care patients out there watching me right now would agree with me. We all appreciate what you do, so thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope this video was a help to those of you who are a home health care patient. If you're not a home health care patient, I greatly appreciate you watching this video today. You never know when you might become a home health care patient, so you may need this information someday. So thank you for watching, and I hope this was able to help all home health care patients out there. Um, you guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. I'm still trying to get to 300 subscribers. I'm about 30 away. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Number two, I will say you can also email me at nicholascomstock at gmail.com as well as talking to me in the comments below and as well as tweeting me at Nicholas Comstock. The Wheelchair Nick Network also has a Facebook page. If you have not liked that Facebook page, please do so. And when you like the Facebook page, make sure you click Get Notifications so that every time I post, you'll be able to get a notification. Also, give this video a thumbs up. It will help me out. I would greatly appreciate it. Sorry that this video was a little bit longer than normal. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for staying with me all the way through. I will see you on Friday. Bye-bye.